Hey guys, I came across a great do-it-yourself steady cam at littlegreatideas.com as you can see in the link over there and I want to show you guys how I made it and what the video looks like using the steady cam. That is a T-joint that I'm going to be using for the galvanized steel rods. These are the caps with quarter inch holes drilled into two of them that I'm going to be using for both the tripod head plate and the counterweight. These are galvanized steel rods. That's 12 inch that I'm holding but there are two 10 inches next to them that I'm going to be using for the body. This is a tripod head that I took off an old tripod. This is a two and a half pound weight that I got from a sports store and you can see there's a little uh, ridge in it already that actually helps me a lot. Uh, these are two fender washers, quarter inch holes and they're about I think an inch and a half or inch and a quarter diameter. It fits into that hole pretty snugly so uh, as you can see here it really doesn't move around that much so it uh, gives me a pretty sturdy base. These are the nuts and bolts and the stop washers that I'm going to be using to assemble the Steadicam, but uh, the website actually shows you exactly how to make it, so it's really not too hard. So yeah, this is the Steadicam partly assembled. That is the tripod head that screws into the top and the counterweight that screws into the bottom. So this is the Steadicam fully assembled. The camera goes on top where the tripod head is. This is the handlebar and on the bottom is a two and a half pound counterweight. So after this I'm going to show you guys a video that I took using the Steadicam and after that just let me know what you guys thought and any helpful suggestions you guys might have. Thanks. It's pretty steady. Or I think it is, I don't know. Oh, you're trapped. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Go, go, go. Alright, let's